Welcome to episode number 7 of his Jack Thornton Road to the Show series, and today, obviously, we're playing Jack Thornton Road to the Show. Twins are exactly good. They're 61 and 66, and they're 14 names bad first place, and they're, I think, 11 out of names behind a playoff spot, so, or a wild card spot, and they're 11 and a half in bad. Yeah, 11 out of names bad. And we have to, I mean, I don't know, I mean, we are ranked. 21st, which is not good. I mean, I, I just not that good. As you can see, we're hovering on the 500 mark because you can see us it was right here. And we put the candy here and we split, but then it's like you can see we're on a what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight name losing streak. We finally won. So we'll play two names in the so white sides and then probably. Then, and the White Sox are second place. I don't know when we play Cleveland again. We play Cleveland right here. Which are, there will be one more episode of the season. No exception, but you don't, it will be probably the end of the season. So it's probably going to be, probably I'm saying, the San Diego is actually pretty good. I mean, San Diego is third place. But it's probably only somewhere, maybe uh, on September 22nd. Or it's only sometime in the San Diego series. It's going to be at the first game or the second game, but really it's going to be like basically the last episode. It's going to be these last two series, most, um, last two series of the year in San Diego and in Kansas City. And then probably, I, de because I doubt we're making, the, I mean, we're 14 inch bad, and with, I mean, we have more than 14 inch left, but we really need to win a majority of our games. Like 70% of our games have a chance, maybe even 80, but a majority of our games uh, have a chance in a wild card series. I doubt or one in the division because I think we only have like three games left against Cleveland. I must say that I do really bad, like lose a lot of their games. So really, the only chance if we have to make the playoffs is if they send a wild card team or something. So you can see I am. Um, we have Mackenzie, Juan, Ozuna, Thornton, Amora, Franco, Owens, Zazen, and Darver. There's Polanco, I realize that. But. I, was, I thought they, they, we do have Polanco, but he's in AAA. And, I mean, they still have a Brady. You know, I'm a 78 silver. Azuna has a 92 diamond. As you can see, I'm bad. 386 home runs, 35 RBS, 8 stolen bases in MLB. So, 10 names above 500. We're 5 names under 500. Try to get close to that 500 mark. Let's watch the presentation. Now, Mr. We are under the lights this evening as we get set for another edition of baseball on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago White Sox and the Minnesota. Trevor Mays, that's our starter here. Twins baseball. Next. Trevor May, I mean, five and five. Apparently, he's only one star. That's sure. That might be a glitch. That might be a glitch. Then, yeah, that is a glitch because then to That is possibly fine, fine with only one start, but I believe that is a glitch. Uh, we have. Oh, it got past him! Oh, I can't go for. I can't go for. It would have been closed, but I probably would have been out. RBI triple, six triple of the year. I thought that I was gonna be at a normal like. I thought I was gonna be. I thought he would let it land, but instead he dove for it and then it went all the way to the wall, went right to the wall right. I believe to the left at that 403 sign. So it's one nothing Minnesota. Oh, we have to win five straight games to get the, the 500 mark, but we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. A two count. Um, no. We have to leave into my RBI triple. Which I really wanted to do a four, but really, I don't know if it was worth it though. So now, it's still one nothing, two runners on, nobody out. As, I mean, we're 21st ranked. I mean, Star Force's Cubs are first. I mean, they're the first in everything besides pitching. It's like 16th. And that's way too, that could be two though? No. Good choice. It's 
Still, we got out of that and Runner at first, nobody on the top of the board. Still, one nothing Twins. Mays, that's his Mays 50th pitch. And the 50th pitch to end up in a 4 6 3 double play bare hand. Not bad. Two down, I mean, went. And it's still one nothing. I'm up with no runners on, one out on the top of the four. We only have one hit. So that's the, that was mine. That's whoever was at first is stored on my triple. Must have done on via, like, hit by pitch or walk or something. Or air. Well, not an air, so it must have been a hit by pitch or a walk. Because we have two hits now. We ha I have both. So the runner in front of me, whoever's at, who's in front of me. Uh, I think it was a zoom. No, it was. I think it was McKenzie. He must have. I think he must have walked or got hit, hit by a pitch, or something. Now I hit the back of Amora. So we only, I think we have at least four base. Not sure. I mean, I think I'm more scoring on my triple, but he didn't score on a base hit. I only have the two base hits. We have more than two base runners. As if you know the Dane law, you didn't say hit by a pitch, but if you don't know the first inning, yeah, Juan was the one that scored a walk. So we have four base runners: a triple, single, a walk, and a hit by a pitch, and still a run. That's the time I forgot, I forgot I had to dough out. Minus one stealing, but all four bases loaded. So he's giving up five, what, two walls, a hit by pitch, and two hits. So five base runs, but only on two hits. Bases loaded, one on count the Gonzalez. Number eight banner open on the game. And that is not. Man. Well, we're still at one nothing, but that's a opportunity to dot it some runs, or at least one. Still one nothing. The Andre Alonzo, 3 2 count runner at first with the off. On the pitch, it's a Brayu. 43 speed, 0 steal, so I down the ball at that pitch storm. There it goes. Alright, I forgot who's in motion. And at the middle of six of stores, the Twins won in the White Sox 0. And I forgot. Last episode, you know, we were tied for first place, I played with the Indians, but now look how far we're back. Anyways, okay. As we still have two hits, but our pitching staff will put on Jimson. Only giving up three runs or three hits. And two for two. I have both hits for the Twins, and I have all three. I have all three hits. Three for three with a triple, two singles, and an RBI. I wish I went for seven there. Half of the cycle, but I'm three for three. I have all three hits for the Twins. Somehow we only have one run. Well, somehow we have one run. I just well, this guy's been walked in. And he at least walked two people on unless it. And at least it's uh, one person. Near like that, I get a walk. And it's still one nothing. Castillo at the play. Jankowski at first. Runner at first one out. Tyner at first base. Going at the play. 0 for 2 for Castillo, number 8, the number 8 batter. And it's to uh, whoever's at second. And it's Juan. And it's all back to me. Double play. Well, 7 in stretch time here at Target Field. It's. Owens and Don Starr are 7 8 9 do it for the Twins in the what, bottom of the 7. Okay, we're doing ourselves. They have 5 hits. We have 4 hits, so I don't have all of them. Here's Parker, who's still on the team as well. Two runners on one out for a Brayu. Hit what most likely ties the game because it's 76 feet at 7. It's Mancata. Come on, let's hit hard. 4 6 3. Double play, and we did have another jam. Middle of eight, the storm ends one nothing twins. I should get up it in. No, I meant in four, so I could get up it in. And now I down. We know one, two, three, and we. Ooh, I was like, we. So we have runner, no runners on two outs. White Sox on the final out. Corner infielders are protecting the line, so they can't get a double off it over us or in the dab or something. Oh, what a play! What a play, but but I wasn't covering and the pitcher wasn't either, so now the time runs at first. Come on, come on, slam the door, Mike. Straight down! 
And the Twins win one nothing. The first run what happened the first inning it's a RBI triple by me. Made it the win. That's a game we gotta win. And it's one nothing. Good job. Trevor Mattis, Tepper was. We do have Teppers on. So May went on five and a third. There, I went three for three. I had seventy-five percent of our hits. Only ten hits between the two teams. I had all. I had three out of the four. Owens had the other one, and then Juan, who scored the only run. Three for three with two singles, a triple, and an RBI. Now let's play a center of two against the White Sox. Quit two hours and 19 minutes. I just because there's only one run and only 10 minutes between the two teams. Let's watch the presentation. Now that's Surgeon. That game was really quick. Two hours and 19 minutes. I wish those. I wish that's how real games are. Well, you can't expect every day to be one nothing. That's really rare. So that's it. So we'll wrap up the season, the regular season, and. I guess somehow then after that it'll most likely be open in 2020. 2021? 2021. Alright, or I guess playoffs if we made it there, but really you know, I want a majority of our games. Then Dawn? I had a watch off home run my last row of the show episode, Audie Coleman. And I was down by one of two runners on. Uh, so no shutout for the White Sox, but only on one nothing. We gotta win this game though. I think that's not I think that should get down. Yeah, that is getting down. I might go over the wall though. No, I won't go over the wall, but it's only a double anyways. Lead off double and a time run, which is me, is at the end of base. Good job, gentlemen. But like, tomorrow will be a double A playoffs for uh that my, I had him down on the show series. He's on the Hartford Yard Goats, the double affiliate of the Rockies. Good job. Got me over to third. Now we just need a wild pitch. Pass ball towards me. A sad fly towards me. Possibly a ground ball if, if the infield's bad, which they are. But the infield and outfield are straight up normal, but they could throw home. You never know. Come on, Duda. I, see, I think he's playing DH today. Yeah, because he's at an MLB bench for first base. He's playing DH. My goodness. This is the thing that... See, I'm going to line up right now. They do it is at DH. As uh, our bench is Jordan West, Chris Owens, Lily Calhoun, and Matt Tepler. So, that's Owens got replaced, but I'm not sure who. I've seen that everyone... everyone well, I just knew he was a DH because Duda didn't play last until last game. Come on, Gonzalez. And it's fifth now. Well, last game was bad at eight. Ah. Uh, yeah, strike down and then a ground. I wish they did. If they did that with one out, I, I would have scored. Uh, it's still one nothing. I'm leading off. So I hit or double or better. I let off the fours with a double. Advance on a 4 3 ground ball and do the strike, strike out. That is foul. Last three days, I have a triple and four of the eyes. I had a homer in a while, I think. <laughs> 71 pitches thrown for the White Sox, uh, whatever it's called, starter. And that is fair! Over the bat, and I'm on with the leadoff single. Did the episode. I haven't hit a home run. I did fail that challenge, but I'm on base with a tie and run. 0 for 2 of Duno with a strike down and a 4 3 ground. He advanced me at third base in the fourth. And then Duno struck down and then 3 0 assisted for uh, Gonzalez. And he's trying to miss. A 95 mile per hour 14 fastball. And here comes Duda. 1 2 count. Thank you for being a wild throw. I've seen that recently where it's a wild throw. And over two with a strike down. I thought, well, honestly, the ground ball, three unassisted for Gonzalez. Okay. It's two outs, and that's how I'm in. 
They haven't really done anything. We have five hits. We only had four last game, but I mean, if you want to, we kind of had some offense going. Um, well, we have, uh, well, we have seven hits now, so more than last game, but we do have five additional runs. Bobbled it, and I don't know if I'm really safe. I, I'm safe. I'm not sure if it, I'll call it a hit or not. Probably not. It. Uh, base hits. I, I'm, what? And this, I haven't got out at all in this episode. But we're now we're doing. I mean, one one game we did one run, and we shut out the White Sox next game. We did six runs, and we were getting shut out. And we're probably not get shut out. So we did. No, split, but at this point we gotta win. Like, we gotta, especially when we play the Titers, which are all the, they're the last place team. We gotta sweep them. That's probably not it's so weak. Yeah, they're not done it. Yeah. So we're gonna play a tighter. We gotta sweep that series. Dude. That's the last place team. I right? think that's like the worst ranked team in baseball, or or the worst record in baseball, or both. And that's probably going to end the eighth. And it's probably going to end the game. Because it's. Yeah, we lose. Yeah. Yeah, so one game we only. We score one run, shut out the White Sox. The next game. I mean, let's. I did get one out. I did get. I had got out once in this game. So in this episode, I believe I'm bad in. Sits for seven. With. I think. I mean. Three for five, four with a double and two singles. No RBIs because I drove in the only run in the first game. No, so in that series we only scored one run. We gave up six, so we outscored six one. And when that usually happens, that means you only you know, win one game. But we did win one game. So now I believe we're six, 62 and 67. But really, we got to sweep the Tigers right now. If we don't sweep, I'm going to be really mad. Because there's no issue of sweep. I mean, I don't know what. Well, I think we lost half a game. I mean, we're at 21st. The Tigers are ranked last. They have a 299 winning percentage. They might have the worst record in baseball, and they're ranked last. And everything besides pitching 30th, power 30th, trying to get 29th, speed 12th, defense. I mean, our pitching's 21st. Our top finish contact. As we are 12 games back, the Angels only have, I mean, if we can get up to, like, where the Royals are, We'll be in a good spot, but if, and we could do that maybe, or at least get past the Angels if we didn't sweep the Tigers here. And then we play the Brewers for two, and Milwaukee, then we go to Tampa Bay for three. And I didn't realize this. I completely missed it. We played Cleveland right here for three, and then we played Cleveland right here for three. And I think, yeah, then we, so we have six games left in Cleveland against the Indians. Three at home, and then three in Cleveland. I mean, it's Romero, who's 10 and 6, is not bad with a mid 3 ERA. And Daniel Norris, who had 3 and 16 with a 6.4 ERA. So, if we don't sweep, I'm going to be disappointed. I get 2 out of 3 still good, but at this point, we got to sweep. Because, I mean, we got to take our opportunities when we can get them. I did if it's like the Indians take, well, even the Indians, we probably need to sweep. At this point, we're, we're probably not going to win the division, but if we can. Did these sweeps, like even in the Indians, which was in the division, if we can do these sweeps, they get like a five that sits one. We can need a winning streak together, like five or six games. That's gonna help us. As I do have a home run that last in in the city. Well, let's watch the presentation. Let's watch the presentation. Have a sturgeon. I mean, the Tigers are ranked last in baseball and have and have the worst record in baseball, I believe. Their their winning percentage is 299. It's under 300. So really, I assume they're the worst team in baseball. I know that. I mean, their starter. I mean, if we're seriously, what, how are we down? I mean, they're playing the worst team in baseball. I mean, we only last year was the Orioles. The second worst was the Tigers. And I'm gonna be on probably at second base, possibly third. No, second. Lead off double time at center base, which is me, Jack Thornton. Uh, Sabrera's there. 20th double of the year for Th Jack Thornton. Remember, I started the year on the bench. Now I'm a starter. Here's a Albert Amora Jr. Come on. Play clutch, guys. Uh, got me over. That's dope. I, 
I think it is stove. Not that like Sir Domino, that's not stove. Come on, Franco. Um it's good they don't have stove. They still have Cabrera, I assume. Um it done who's it the Chris Owens at the DH in that first game because he is it for this game. Due to the DH for the last game. Owen Count. Promising, hopefully put just put it in play because it's straight up normal for the infield and outfield. Uh that's a little too shallow. It would have been close, but it wasn't deep enough. Come on, Owens. I mean, if it was 20 feet farther, yeah, but it was what it seemed like it was too shallow. People might debate me about that, but I soared anyways. So really, I just robbed the RBI from the other. And apparently, so I hit. Whoa! What in the? Not sure what happened. I think they would call that a signal on an E9. Yeah, I think they did call that. Yeah. Yeah, they're saying send on E9. I said I passed them or something. I told them to Matt It's 2-1 now. Pop-up. Middle of three of stores. The Titers 2 and the Twins 1. I mean... Okay, we have the lead. Two runners on nobody out, so... And then Norris. This is a series. If we can sweep, we're back. Hopefully the Indians aren't doing well. Or even the Indians or the team that were the Senate Wildcard team. Right, that is going to give us a 4-2 lead. That was not a good throw. Two runners on nobody out as it's 4-2 Minnesota. Played in my challenge. It was a Vance runner driving a run, but I chose to a run. Driving a run. Here's a Albert Amore Jr. I just don't know some on some on Franco. Come on. I just missed that. It wasn't clearly gone because if the runner if the runner sent it started the run, then it would have been gone because it was less than two outs. It doesn't mean it's not gone, that means it's not not a, like you know if it's gone or not. Or at least in and down the runner. Well, I mean, we have a 4 2 lead, so I'm happy. But the thing is, I mean, our bullpen's sometimes horrible. See, now it's 4 3. I mean, like, play it at one game, we have a shout out the White Sox 1 0, but then here, and now it's two runs on nobody out. What a play by Jack Thorne in the center for one to first, back to the pitcher. Not in time. They did the runner, I was on the second. And and then up that stole uh, stole one run. Four three the runner sent it. Nobody out in the fifth. Bottom of the fifth. And that's uh oh get through. I didn't hit a home run in this episode, but, but, I've been really, I've been doing well. That's a short of the run for third, and they're not even going to throw it home. It's 5-3, good job. So I'm talking about clutch play. Clutch play like that can get us a... W, W, the job, gentlemen. The job. No, throw me. Well, I mean, we have a chance. I did, you want, but, I mean, next up, so, it might take a while. I mean, I'm kind of booked. I mean, I have the postseason coming up. Basically, now I'm going to play it forever from now. Well, Henry Allen tomorrow, Henry 25th to Franchise Monday, Rockies Franchise Tuesday, Tw Rangers March to October Wednesday, Bears Road to Show Thursday, Expansion Jack Franchise as we're, Expansion Jack Franchise on Friday, 
Madden 20 faced the franchise Saturday. Extra and Sunday, and obviously Monday postseason. Tuesday, Nationals franchise. Wednesday, postseason. Thursday, Henry Dallin, which must. And then Friday, most likely Henry Dallin as well for opening in 2021. Which is the, this is the last Friday of February. Uh, May and then and that and after I thought I knew I was on there on Saturday, but really that's as far as I did. So basically that's almost when that's two weeks. Is we're losing. How do we got seven runs of the worst team in baseball? So I'm really on fire. I haven't had a home run, but I have an RBI and extra base hit. And I don't have a home run. Fine. Two runners on. One out. Let's go. Well, even if we did a few runners on, I can maybe come up in a walk off situation. Cause I want to walk off. As maybe not. I don't turn off the seven, but I just don't. If we don't get a sweep. Is that if we like if we lose the series, I'm just gonna be pissed. This is the worst team in baseball, and we're losing. Talking about clutch play, and we steal a win from the Tigers. Thank you, Mackenzie. Three, I believe it was Mackenzie. I believe it was the right fielder right there, the right fielder. I believe Hildenberger got the win. I'm unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Yeah, more Hildenberger got the save. Green at the. Oh my goodness. I want four. I have an RBI in this I forgot. But my goodness, my Tenzie, two for five with a homer, three out of the two runs throwing the other hit was a single. For me, I'm a sending guy on there. I just because he's the first guy who's had a home run. Obviously, there was the lead. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to play a sending name in the series. And this, I'm thinking, I mean, that's the, I, this is the last name of the episode, regardless if we win or lose. And I'll play the third game of the tighter series off camera. And probably more than that game. Definitely more than that game. Let's watch the presentation. Let's watch the presentation. Man, Why is there no one there? Look at the upper deck. Look at I see four fans. Where they're showing you. Sometimes that the, that's a glitch, I think. I've seen that glitch where there's, like, no one besides where they're supposed to be, like, up there, like, uh, right field, there's always people there, even if like to pitch and practice or band and practice. But then, like, uh, there's still. But then I think when I hop in, I think, yeah. Then there's magically all these people. I mean, I heard in I think sorry, I'll be show 17 like L.A. You might see like not that less of fans, but you might see like 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 fans like this amount but then you'll see more coming in the first set in because of the traffic in LA but really I think that's a glitch because is the signs like that's a glitch why it is and then and also I see a glitch where it's a full house for a game that the home team is a like fifth place and for a first place team it's like not full it's not a self sell out so that's like the first time. I think it's my second time down on the episode. I think. Now I'm really on fire here in this episode. As one down. As you know, I haven't hit a home run, but it's all about home runs. I mean, that's like a Luis Arise only at three, but he was an on base machine. He batted like 334 last year. That came up by in May or something. I mean, that's still good, but this is really the big year for him, but the thing is, what, the second year, but, I mean, they're thinning out, like, 82 game season, like, have a runner at first start, like, every extra innings, like, I mean, for the home team, I mean, ball that could win them the game, I mean, a hit could put the runners at first and third, as we're up to nothing, I haven't done it, Aiden, I'm over two, 50, pitches now 51 for Barrios, and then I'll throw it, and there's one down here in the fifth. As we're trying for the, well, the win the series guarantee is now we're losing 5-3, or 3-2 in the fifth. Well, that's my first hit. I bolt 100 miles per hour off the bat. 
Lead off Sentinel. I'm tying on at first base. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna play more than one the the last game of the Tiger series. Uh, then Storm and Zimmerman, who I believe had a no hitter with the Nationals years ago. And that's a little like a tapper. Two runners on nobody out. I'm not gonna. No, no. Well, I could have out of play. I score. I scored it was from the outfield. I was like, I, I said I would have scored if uh, if I was running the third base. Is it, if it's not from the infield out of play, if it's not from the infield out of play, then it's one base from where you were. So if I was at third base, it, I would have scored obviously if I was in the infield. But no, if I had to set in a third, throw from the outfield, I did two bases where so I scored and then I had. And I think the six triples time for fifth in the A. I believe in the believe in the batter only got second base for some reason. I would say that third is that the two additional bases. I guess because I want two bases. I'm not sure, but all I know is that we're up five three now, and we're still up five three. Two runners on, one out. I'm one for four with a single, and I scored the run on that horrendous throw by the right fielder. end this episode on a bane, maybe with a home run, or at least our RBI, I don't, I don't, I, I know I don't have any home runs in this episode, but it's not like Dash 2, I only have like three hits, and that, that's a talent run, okay, someone has to go home, because there's like, there was two runners within like five feet of each other, so yeah, RBI double at 6-3 Minnesota, and that's a perfect way to end the episode. It's not ended yet. Infield in two runners in strong position, one out. For Azuna, two of four in the game, not bad. And I'm not sure why I saw that. I don't know why I saw that. If you're not a big to the open, why would you not just walk, essentially watch him? That's what they're I don't know why they're showing me this. If you just wanna, if you wanna work around, why don't you just intentionally walk him? Not, because then, not throw. I mean, it used to be you had to throw the four balls, but now you don't. So yeah, basically load it one out. I don't know why they just intentionally walk him. Is okay. Here's Duda who had a seriously had a triple. Doesn't he have like 20 speed? One on town. Here comes Duda to DH. And. That's way too shallow to tad. Yeah, it's too shallow to down. But. Wait, didn't we have Cruz? Yes, we didn't. Thought we had Cruz. I, I thought on the lap. It's not in the last episode of the series. I thought it was Cruz and they only traded him, but who? I don't know. I can't remember. Well, that's a pop up. That should end the game. If we. We went in purple way in the episode. So uh, you ma might want thirty third save matches and please that first. As uh, good job, gentlemen. Six three. I went two for five with a double single and an RBI. I'm the third guy on there. That's because uh, Almora had a home run and Dallas had a home run. And dude had to triple on the run. It's not bad. And then. Reyes drove in one of the three runs for the Titans, and, and then Tasher drove in the other two. So not bad. So I didn't wonder why I'm... Well, by the way, remember the time slots will come and play. I didn't, I might have to work over with math like the first in the end of July. Then I saw, what, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Five bases left for math. So, but the Super Summer will start June 1st. That's been my last day of school is I think May 3rd. 29th, so Super Summer will start 
I just said it did start Saturday. But I wanted to start in... Yeah, I forgot. It didn't start like that Saturday. Yeah, but I did. It might have done, done it. But... I think it did. Like, I mean, I think last time I went to sit one, I had to film a video because obviously I was there. So we can't really go anywhere. So I knit. You might think if you're off, it won't start Saturday, May 30th, not Monday, June 1st. Well, I don't say June 1st because I just want to be June 1st because I want to start in June. So it's my basically like, first weekday off of school. I still have to do math. So June 1st, Super Summer, four time slots. So I'll show you the schedule and in the first um, Super Summer video on that Monday. And then 7, I know what's going to be in the 7, time, seven end, or 7, seven p.m. time slot, anything I want. The other three I still have to make up. Super Summer, I mean, I think it's two Mondays from this Monday. So just over two weeks away. And just over a week away, I know my third postseason bracket, and I'll be the show 20. Okay, guys, so I'm going to close it. No board gets up to it. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you have yet. Tell your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, best and friends about these videos. And you know what? I'm going to see you in episode number 8 of the Chat Thornton Road of the Show series. See you in episode number 8. And eat a lot of bacon. Go Twins Go.